and today we shall be developing linear regression model using Excel. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to use Excel in order to run linear regression. Look an example of, of some macroeconomic variable GDP, which stands for broad domestic products. So we are going to analyze the impact of general government uh, final consumption expenditure, gross capital formation for private sector, as well as general government investment. So to run linear regression using Excel, you just need to go in uh, data, use data analysis. So if data analysis is not activated in your Excel file, you just need to go on file. When you are on file, go to options. When you are on options, you just need to go to add in. So when you are in add in, click on go and select analysis tool pack. So if I deselect analysis tool pack, tool pack this data analysis tool will disappear in my Excel. So I just activated analysis tool pack so that I can use an data analysis tool in order to run my linear regression as well as other analysis in Excel. So just click on analysis, data and data analysis and select regression. So you select regression and then you click on OK. First step is to select the dependent variable. That is Y variable. So you click on the arrow and select your dependent variable. My dependent variable here is a GDP growth. So I select the variable GDP growth and come back in my interface and select the input the independent variables. So I click on my arrow and select all my three independent variables that are government finance, consumption expenditure, gross fixed capital formation, and general government investment. So then I click on the arrow back on my interface and I can select plot uh, residuals, normal probability plots that uh, can define a constant to be zero. So I will not select this. I can select the confidence level of 95%. So I should uh, also select a label in order to uh, take into consideration the first level of my variable. So then I click on OK and the result of my uh, linear regression are there. Here we have the multiple R, R square and the adjusted R square of our regression. Our R square is uh, close to 60%. can mean that our three variable can explain 60% of our, our model. So we have the result of our estimation. We have intercept here. We have uh, intercept coefficient. We have the coefficient of uh, general government final consumption expenditure. We have coefficient of gross fixed capital formation, which is positive and negative, negative for general government final consumption. We have uh, general government investment in percentage of GDP. All, all independent variable are in percentage of the GDP. So we have the p value here. So all variable ex except the general government investment are significant. So general government investment, uh, final consumption expenditure have a p value which is less than 5%, which means that uh, general government final consumption uh, significantly influence economic growth and the influence is negative. So uh, general government investment influence negatively on uh, GDP growth and the coefficient of 2.15 mean that when a general government consumption expenditure increased by a unit, the GDP growth increased by two units. So uh, government should try to set a final consumption expenditure at the level uh, so that it cannot affect the economic growth. So uh, the variable uh, gross fixed capital formation for products of the sector influence uh, significantly because the p-value here is uh, 0.0001 which is less than 5%, meaning that those fixed capital formation for private sector, which is investment, private sector, influence significantly and positively on, uh, on the economic growth. So uh, to increase the economic growth, government uh, should encourage uh, private investment. Coefficient of 0.83 means that When a gross fixed capital formation for private sector increased by one unit percentage of GDP, you should keep that in mind. So, general government investment didn't influence significantly on the economic growth because the p value here, 0.203, is more than 5%, meaning that influence of general government investment is not statistically significant in our model. So the coefficient is positive, general government influence positively, but the level of significance is not uh, higher. We have here integral level lower at 95%. Uh, we also have element like a visual plot of our model. And here for today, and it's the next uh, tool, I will show you how to really look at residual and other analysis in uh, linear regression using Excel.